Hello and welcome back to Settlement Survival. We are continuing our playthrough here. Um, looks like our food is starting to... I'm not going to say taper off, um, because we are just heading into a new season, but we're definitely consuming the food we're producing. Our main focus, uh, where we left off in the last episode, I think was converting these... Uh, well, we're continuing to increase our corrals here um, and try to use up our, our fodder as much as possible to make milk. But also we started, I think, converting some of these into eco pastures, which allow the use of fodder, which was a uh, significant focus of our previous episode. Now, we're not producing a ton of fodder, but and we definitely could use more. Um, but we do have little farms down here that are producing the corn and the wheat that... Or the corn and the soybeans that we need to continue doing that. Inventory is fairly full of... Uh, looks like mostly hardwood. So this uh, this little hardwood factory area is working pretty dang well the other thing we did in the last episode was we started making trade goods um and the main reason for that is we wanted a way to generate some some revenue uh because it's just not just not cutting it let's add a worker over here now the number of workers is go our laborers is going down it's not terrible but it is it is trending downward we did end up planting flax up here. And I think we are looking to... Yeah, we re we removed the flax fields from over here. That frees up some space in this little industrial area to continue expanding anything we need with, with industry. We are producing a fair amount of sturdy tools, which I'm not sure... I believe it's better than just plain steel tools. So that's trending in the right direction. I'd like some more. I mean, like we're not even consistently making enough simple food for people. So we definitely have to start figuring that out. It's the production's not great. <laughs> Why does the apiary show making sturdy hardwood tools? That must be a bug. Um, uh, says re reappointment invalid. I guess we'll just do that anyway. Did that cost us coins? I don't know. I didn't look at how many coins we had to begin with. We do have a fire coming up, followed by a merchant ship, so that should be an interesting situation. All right, so is this producing... Why does the apiary... Yeah, something's, uh, something's bugged here. It says it's outputting steel tools. Yeah, whatever building I click on before clicking on the apiary, it shows that. So that's definitely a, a glitch. I'm not sure why. I guess we're going to use beeswax. <coughs> How is our graveyard situation? So the graveyards are completely full, which is going to lower people's moods because there's no there's no place to put the bodies when people die. Let's see what's going on here. Carving shop. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to start carving some statues. And I hate to waste iron on it. So I think wooden statues are going to be the way to go. 
Although we are uh, surprisingly low on wood. I wish we could use a uh, hardwood for that. Let's fell some of the trees in our town area. And that should help replenish. Let's just fell all of these. And this was also going to be flax. So let's go ahead and get that going. I did ultimately want to make this um, cotton when we get to that point. But we don't have enough cash at the moment to get cotton seeds. I think we lost some people in the uh, the caravan. All right, this should increase the amount of wood we have available. I probably should have just done a uh, like a gather all command because there's going to be some some other materials we can gather up. That is a lot of people walking on this road. All right, so what's going on here? Okay, so this is has seven. I think I want to separate. Yeah, there we go. I, I kept. I think last episode I kept trying to transfer, and that just moved all of them. I want to split so that they're both working at the same time, or both growing at the same time. All right. Are these little llamas? Yeah, it looks like it. I was kind of hoping they were sheep. Okay, so that actually did not produce as much wood as I was hoping, unless it just hasn't made it back to the, um, to the, what you call it, yep, to the warehouses. Yeah, okay, it's, it's going up slowly. All right, let's form another caravan. I'm going to pause for a second while we're doing this. I would like to sell, let's see, 158 sell that and then let's also do some raw materials and continue to sell our massive stock our excess of fat production from all the animals uh it's amazing because we built so many um soap making facilities and it's still it, it, it just cannot keep up with the amount that we're we're generating here so um Hardwood too, though we have a lot, a lot of hardwood backing up as well. Um, all right, so that should be eight forty-two. Should max us out. There we go. We'll just keep keep that going. All right, so the eco pasture should increase. Did I convert any of these to eco pastures? Yes, this one I did. So we should see an uptick in the resources being produced, which I mean we're already producing a lot of fat. So All right, this mine was already upgraded. So was this one. This one cannot be upgraded any further. And coal is run out. It's a little unfortunate. <clears throat> I can't upgrade beyond this, so I'm just going to turn the mine off for the time being. Yeah, these both have inventory, though, so we're fine there. All right, so I'm going to up the amount of workers working over here. Try to make as many of these wooden statues as possible. The more we could sell, the, the better off. Probably prefer to have them in a trade caravan. Where did these iron statues come from? I want to make sure I'm not accidentally building them anywhere. I definitely only want wooden statues. Let's do a gather all command, get some more lumber lined up here. We definitely stripped out 
all of the plants from this area. All right, so here we're back in business with enough food. Looks like that is going pretty well overall. Did we produce any? Yeah, it looks like this one never got around to making any flax, but hopefully this year that'll go okay. How are we doing as far as material production? So we do have plenty of flax banked up. Um, don't have a lot of agave. There's not enough workers on that farm. All right, so we're definitely not producing enough linen. Should probably get another linen um, factory up and running. Looks like we have some domestic fuel production issues as well. Probably because we're not producing coal anymore. I probably should tap into <coughs> some of these spots up here. Maybe build a mine. Uh, let's go ahead and look at doing that. Uh, I, I'm definitely missing. I would think it's under ore. But it does not appear to be. What is it under? Oh, resources. All right, let's build a mine. Um. Yeah, let's see if we could slap a mine down here. Oh, that's just a little in the way. Well, that is quite unfortunate. Uh, why can I not get the spacing right over here? Okay, there's one off. <laughs> one off. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, okay. That was a red a red spot there. Alright, so if we get rid of this house which, you know. Sorry guy. We could build it over there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. That fire should be kicking up any second now. I'm gonna build another couple houses down in this area here yeah this building is just a little little wonky I can't quite fit a uh... <coughs> slap a couple houses down there that'll hopefully compensate for this one being ripped out okay there goes that house. Let's go back to building a mine. And there we go. Let's focus on getting that built and then that will alleviate, I think, some of our um, fuel issues. I could make, start harvesting some coal out of there anyway. Okay, so the fire came and went. I don't really know where it happened. I didn't really see anything. Uh, okay, this is a senior mine as well. It can't be upgraded. Okay, how many... That, okay, that is a citizen view. This is not what I wanted. I wanted to look at carving shop. Okay, so we made 10 wooden statues. Certainly not a lot. 
but if they sell for a decent amount, I'm good with it. Here comes our merchant ship. Let's see what they have to trade. Okay, so they don't have a, anything too great, but I can at least sell. You know, let's save this for if we need it for something else. I feel like we're always going to have enough of these other resources, so. I think maybe we just uh, load up on some hand carts and some baskets. Yeah, I think that will work well. Okay, that should be good. Let's go ahead and do that. The hand carts should come. I Well, I don't know if we're actually going to use them yet if we don't have the tech unlocked, but um, let's take a look. Logistics, yeah, hand carts. Increases carrying capacity. I think we're, we are coming up on our next tech level here. And I think we are going to continue working down some of the, the trading path here. Um, maybe adding more uh, carrying capacity for the caravans. Could be a good idea. We are hovering right around 75 laborers, so our replacement rate is about on par with what we're losing. Let's take a look. All right, caravan is coming to an end soon. Still have plenty of water. Clothing is getting a little tight, but we have enough. There shouldn't really be a problem there. All right, tech point is acquired. I don't think we need to do... Is there any longer term improvements? So a book. But what do we need for ink? That's probably coal, right? Uh... I don't know. Maybe we pivot to education after doing this. I really want to increase the <clears throat> the caravan weight because I need to generate more revenue. I need to keep buying cotton and, and other things. So let's go ahead and form another caravan. It did increase the weight a little bit. Alright, so we have 19 wooden statues and 98 porcelain. Alright. 193 total, so. Let's see how the fat's coming along. Okay, so it looks like, what's that, 13 over 7? Yes. I can do basic math. There we go. Let's see how our factions come along with Carlos. Looks like we are getting some some reputation built up. What is a water nursery? Ooh. I like that. We are always kind of low on herbs. So that could end up being a good thing. Alright, how much 
was cotton seeds. We have enough. Could just buy this now. And I think we will. We did just lose a large portion of our laborers, which is quite unfortunate, but. Okay, so we did get cotton seeds. So I'm going to switch all of this to cotton. It's, cotton, I think, is more important to produce long term. I'm going to leave this on linen for now because we have so much flax built up. But I will change it over to cotton cloth um, next season. Hopefully. Hopefully I remember. But we'll see. Okay, here goes our caravan. The cattle is, or the cows are coming along here. We definitely have enough starting to show up. Our little butter factory is uh, churning away. Now, I think... Yeah, the croissants. Alright, this is just flour and jam. Makes 15 toast. I think the butter is probably better spent there but i'm not 100 percent sure there was something with the tomatoes over in this area i think it was one of these buildings made um yeah it was the barbecue house maybe yeah turkey tomatoes and butter made roast turkey so maybe we'll switch over to that Hopefully we'll conserve some some of the materials for that purpose, but we'll see how it goes. Looks like next season should be an increased yield, which, I mean, we already have a lot, so hopefully that, that goes okay. I don't want to have too many things. Looks like we have some immigrants coming into town. I might need to build another cemetery. I was kind of hoping these tombstones would start going away, but they have not. 25 immigrants. I guess we can accept them. Give us some more laborers to work with. I don't think they'll remain homeless but let's see let's see what happens we are desperately out of trees again or lumber so let's go ahead and harvest all of this we might need to actually like build a tree Plantation? Is that something that exists? I feel like it is. Maybe that was under the tech somewhere. Agriculture? Yeah, forest farm. So, I don't... I don't know. Maybe we'll wait on that. I think we're still getting away with just randomly chopping excess, but ultimately I, I, I do think we need to make a step in that direction. We are shy on some housing. Let's get the coal up and running again. Get some people working in the mines. Right, this was our cotton seeds. So, unfortunately, the housing is not going to... 
fit in this area. Yeah, this is going to be messy. Right, let's build some roads. This road will come down here. We'll cut across. Just make a little little loop there. Hopefully this, this housing should fill up fairly quickly. We are definitely... Oh, hello. We will cut you down and get some timber. Do a little gather all command over here. Get some of these trees chopped down. Keep the uh, raw materials coming along. Looks like, yeah. Looks like it's pretty slow on the statue carving, but if it all sells for profit, then that's good. That's really what we're trying to do here is just generate revenue. We should have some coal kicking out of this this place pretty quickly. Yep. So fuel's heading in the right direction. Pretty much everything's heading in the right direction at the moment. I do have a boiler over here, yes? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to up our domestic fuel and our timber production. These uh, little forestry um, camps are not cutting it anymore. I actually think we might need to do a little plant gathering here. There's quite a few little resources uh, built up over there. Now, I can never remember. Okay, so this, this icon means good, like, farmland for cattle. Okay, we do have cotton growing here on these plantations. Hopefully that will yield a good amount of material. And we needed cotton for something specifically. I can't remember what it was. I think it was something to do with... Um, There's some material that, or something that needed it. I gotta figure it out. So we needed cotton cloth specifically for it. I don't remember what it was. Ah. It's frustrating. I'll I'll remember at some point, but wait, this is only outputting thirty research. No, okay, that's the number of points it, it actually put out. Um. Okay, caravan returned. We got a little money back. Let's immediately send them out again. Look at our trade goods. We got 29 and 256. Okay, so that's 401. So that would mean. Nine hundred ninety-nine? No. Ten ninety-nine. Okay, that, that'll give us another five thousand once that comes back. Oh, it's really eating at me. I'm I'm trying to figure out what we needed that um that cotton for. Or specifically the cotton fabric. I do want to make sure they don't accidentally use it over here. 
because that is not why we built this, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was the backpacks. Yeah, I think it was the backpacks because they required cotton cloth. So let's uncheck cotton cloth. Make sure nothing's using that. Well, nothing's using it that we don't want to use it. So we have five advanced tailors and they're barely keeping up with demands, which is just shocking. And we need, we need more because we need some to make shoes and some to make backpacks. So we're going to have to build even more tailors. I might build some up here, though. Uh, let's look at doing that. Although, I, I think, I want to say we struggled finding a spot along the river here. I don't think there is any spots. Yeah, everything's like one-off. Oh, here we go. We got a little spot here. So maybe we build a bridge. There we go. Let's get that going there. And then let's go make a couple more advanced tailors. Okay, we could cram one there and then one one can make shoes one can make backpacks it's right by a that's just out of range of this transfer station well this isn't but this one might be considered out of range i'm not sure but we could put some people to work there Kill all wildlife on the map. Now, I don't think these count as wildlife. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they don't. How many planks do we have? Not a ton. But we are at least consistently producing them. So hopefully that ends up being okay. We do have a fair amount of cotton starting to build up. So I think we switch this over to, no, I almost think we need to make another one. Oh, we did. Huh. Right here. That's what we're going to do. I don't even remember what I clicked on. All right. As soon as that's built, we'll get that going. Here, I would like to get some people. Let's get some straw shoes going. We are a little low on reed, but... I think that's because we're using it for basket making. Oh, rope, currently. So, do I need to generate even more read I think we might yeah it looks like we don't really have room for it 
It's kind of open. This footprint would be a little smaller. We could put it over here. I think I will. There's a there's a road going there anyway. Okay, and then you guys are going to work on backpacks. Maybe. Uh, do I not have the tech for backpacks? I thought I did. No, okay, that's the problem. I did not discover the tech for backpacks. Which is unfortunate, because I was going to start refocusing on education here to up the tech points. But now I want to complete this uh, backpack situation. I guess we'll just wait for the time being. Double down on uh, straw shoes. Just to give people some footwear to work with. get some maybe at least we could build up some some cotton um some cotton cloth have a little maybe some excess built up so that when we do transition to backpacks it'll be hopefully better uh we are out of lumber again oh man we are like really struggling with the wood situation and nothing has really grown back yet over here it's starting to but it hasn't quite yet we are very um lumber hungry i'm gonna have to build those farms sooner than later which is uh, a little unfortunate okay we do have a merchant ship that has arrived um there's really not a whole lot that i want here so what does this this isn't just a duck right it, it's giving me the duck animal let's see what we... okay we are a little bit shy I will spend some, yeah, I will spend a little to get this duck. Okay, transaction, <clears throat> give me the duck. New livestock acquired, okay. So that does give me a duck. I don't think I need two... Uh, I don't know. Like, we're not, like, super excessive on alpaca wool. So, we might be kind of just utilizing it enough. These aren't really worth that much. What does a duck give us? Duck meat? And feathers. Those aren't necessarily that useful either. I think I'd rather have the trade goods, to be honest. Even if they don't sell for that much. It's at least something. Alright, I know I said we're using a lot of wood. Um, and that's true. We had to trap a lot. But I think part of that has to do with us using a lot of wood to like build up the housing over here so that's not always a normal situation that's gonna be happening it's a kind of abnormal if anything so maybe it will get better i guess we'll see let's gather plants up over here again Okay. 
All right. Well, I think this is a good spot to put the cut in here. We've made a good amount of progress with our little town. We are expanding production. We're making some handy dandy shoes for people to wear, which is something we haven't been doing. Uh, we're working towards backpacks. We have cotton production now. We're making cotton cloth. And we're going to be making backpacks shortly. Or we're very close to another tech point. And um, everything is going really well. We definitely have plenty of excess food. I mean, we're going into a planting season with already 32,000 food banked up. So if anything, we might be a little ex excessive on the food. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Um, we do have to address lumber production longer term, and we do have to address, um, longer term solutions for coal and, um, iron. So I don't know if there's ever a mine deeper down the tech tree where you get like unlimited resources, but, um, it's definitely an issue. We are moving in the direction of making trade goods, which is helping us get silver coins to buy the things we need. We have bought pretty much everything we need at this point, um, with the exception of horses. We wanted to do that, but they are like 45,000 silver. So that is uh, another longer term goal we're going to be working towards. So we will continue that progress in the next episode. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one.